From the pyramids of Giza to the Burj Khalifa, humanity has always had a thing for building big. The taller, the grander, the better. But what if we took that obsession to the absolute extreme? What if every single human on Earth, all 8 billion of us, lived in just one building? We've already seen some mind-blowing megastructure proposals. Take the XSEED 4000, a Tokyo concept from 1997. A 4,000 meter tall, 800 story beast designed to house a million people. Or the Tokyo Tower of Babel, a 10 kilometer tall skyscraper meant to hold 30 million residents. Sounds ambitious, right? Well, it would take an estimated 150 years to build. Now imagine scaling that up 260 times to fit everyone on Earth. That's like stacking 2.6 million Burj Khalifas on top of each other. A tower so massive it would punch through the Earth's atmosphere. For some perspective, the largest residential complex today, Le Lignon in Switzerland, houses just 6,000 people. The Burj Khalifa, at its absolute limit, it can hold 10,000 residents and workers. So, yeah, if we're going to fit all of humanity into one structure, we're going to need a whole new level of engineering. Let's test this idea with just New York City's population. 8.4 million people. To house that many people in a skyscraper, we'd need 1,680 floors, standing at 5,040 meters tall, six times the height of the Burj Khalifa. Could we do it? I'm not so sure. The air at that altitude is so thin that the upper floors would need their own oxygen supply. Living up there would feel like camping at the peak of Mount Everest. Except your morning coffee run would involve a 15-minute elevator ride. And emergency evacuations? Let's just say being stuck on the thousandth floor during a fire drill wouldn't be ideal. A structure this massive wouldn't just be difficult to build, it would be nearly impossible to maintain. Think about it. 8 billion people means 8 billion toilets. The sheer scale of waste management alone would be staggering. Massive underground sewage systems would have to process millions of tons of waste every single day. And food? Supply chains would need to run like clockwork, with farms either built into the structure or food shipments arriving nonstop to keep people fed. Miss a few deliveries? You'd have an instant famine. Then there's ventilation. With so many people in a confined space, air circulation would be a critical challenge. Without powerful filtration systems, the building could turn into a massive, unlivable greenhouse. A single megastructure housing all of humanity would consume an unimaginable amount of energy. Heating, cooling, lighting, and endless elevators traveling between millions of floors would require constant, massive power generation. Would we rely on nuclear fusion reactors built into the structure? Or would the building itself have to generate its own power, with entire floors dedicated to solar panels, wind farms, and geothermal plants? And what happens if the power goes out? Even a brief blackout could cause millions of people to be trapped in elevators, food storage to fail, and life support systems to shut down. So even if we could build it, should we? Humans aren't meant to live in never-ending corridors of identical rooms, packed into a mega hive of endless floors. Even in dense cities today, people crave green spaces, fresh air, and open landscapes. Cramming billions of people into a single building could trigger mass psychological strain, Depression, anxiety, and even civil unrest could skyrocket if people feel trapped in an artificial world. Would we need massive parks inside the structure? Artificial skies? Would people even remember what an open horizon looks like? And let's not forget security. What happens when 8 billion people share the same roof? Crime prevention, law enforcement, and conflict resolution would be a nightmare. If riots break out, where do people go? If one region of the building collapses, how do you evacuate? Could we ever actually do this? Right now? Absolutely not. We don't have the materials, technology, or resources to build anything even remotely this big. But history is full of things that once seemed impossible. There was a time when skyscrapers, space travel, and the internet were nothing more than wild ideas. With future advancements in engineering, AI, and carbon nanotube materials, maybe, just maybe, this kind of structure could someday be a reality. But that raises a much bigger question. Would you really want to live in a building with 8 billion neighbors? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think.
And while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insane what-if scenarios. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.